Hello everyone, I'm Commander Ennin, and I'm back with some more Making History the Great War as America. Joining me today are Solus and Carl. Hey. Hi, people. Who we can actually, who they can actually see the game this time because <coughs> I finally fixed the problem. So, here's good old Canada, our northern neighbor, and Mexico, our southern neighbor in Civil War. You know what you, need, what you should do? Yeah. You should do what the Confederates wanted to do if they won the war, where you basically take over Mexico all the way to, like, Colombia. Mm. And then we don't have a drug problem. I always found it weird. I'm sorry, Nick. I always found it weird that the Confederates actually thought that that was, like, a viable option. Hey, guys, let's just conquer everything to Colombia. Yeah. Uh, Mind we... you, it wasn't all Confederates, just some. It... It's like, hey guys, can we win the Civil War first? No. Well, some people do have uh, pretty outrageous plans. Yeah, like well. North Korea wants to take over the entire world. <laughs> That's almost as funny as that game where North Korea invades the United States. Hilarious. Uh... It's hilarious because... It was obvious it was meant to be the Chinese, but then for political reasons, we changed it to North Koreans. For political and... Socioeconomic reasons. Economic, part of me wants to think. Or maybe that was the Red Dawn movie. That was that too, but then it was also the game. They said that they... <clears throat> the game was obviously first meant to be Chinese, but then their... Uh whatever department said, no, we should probably just make it the North Koreans, and they were like, that's stupid, but it's like, shut up and do it anyway, so. Because uh, North Korea OP, please nerf. Yeah. There's something along the Although, lines of North... I was just about to say that that wouldn't, like, really, um, that they... Yeah, because they say in that game, like, North Korea ends up taking over South Korea, then Indochina... Give me a break. Yeah, the Vietnamese resisted the Chinese and... America. Uh, and, and the French. Russia, and, and, yeah. Basically, Just about everyone. people in history, they have martyrs for Vietnamese independence going back to the Ancient Chinese China. dynasty. Yes. And you're going to tell me that Korea owns them? Well, I think the game like tried to make it out to be... That, like, North Korea somehow, like, came out, like, an economic superpower somehow, and, like, countries were just, like, joining them just because they were poor as shit. Mm. And it was, you know, that game is immensely stupid, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Immensely stupid is the best reason. Um, hmm. America. So. Fuck you. Uh, as we all know, or... Some of us should know from history. America in this time was pretty isolationist. What? I know, <laughs> right? There have been some exceptions to the rule. Spanish-American War. The Boxer Rebellion. Etc, etc, etc. Anyway. However... Threatening the, threatening the Japanese to open up their economics. However... The open door policy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Leader of the American open. Empire. What the fuck? Yeah, every nation that has um, subordinate territories like colonies and protectorates is called an empire. If Mexico made a, uh, say, a Mayan puppet state out of the Yucatan here, they would be called the Mexican Empire. That's just the way the game works. And technically, we are an empire. Sort this game's of. on drugs. Shut up, Solus. So, yeah. <laughs> Austro-Hungarian Empire, though, is a different story, just because that was their, like, official name. I prefer them to have official names. They're going to be an empire. Thank you. Yep. And, the United uh, States of Empire. Or just fuck it, the American Empire. Why not? We all we already think we're the only country allowed to call ourselves America. 
Yep. So, basically, um, so that means I'm not going to get much involved in wars and stuff like that. And, uh, the economy is pretty easy to manage. I mean, because you just got so much. Yeah, all I got to do really is just increase, um, by the looks of things, I just got to increase metal production. So, expand out. Same <coughs> situation like with uh, Darkest Hour. If you play as the United States, you pretty much have the fucking, like, raffle stop economy of the entire game. Yep. Making history, though, actually wasn't like that too much. I mean, still, America was OP as it was in World War One and World War Two. But, uh, yeah, you didn't nearly have as much of an instant win button as you did in some later games. Especially when the AI was in control. I did okay. a uh, Soviet Union game. And it's like, in that game, I was fighting with the United States for a bunch of years. And, or well, a couple actually. It was kind of like the mid-40s. And... Weird story about how that game went, by the way. Um, and what ended up happening was that, I guess, the U.S. internally just broke down to something because all of a sudden, communist and authoritarian United States just started rising up. And then... Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Sounds reasonable. I wonder where <clears throat> people started getting the idea to, when they made maps that France always had to be blue, Britain always had to be pinkish, and Russia, when it's not communist, always has to be green. That was... That goes back into the old days of um, of actual maps, I think. I just don't know where those colors came from. I was like, what do I want Britain to be? You know, I'll make it pink. Because... Red pink. coats. Yes. Yes, that's exactly I'm, what it is. I'll make France blue because their old soldiers used to wear a lot of blue. I'll make Russia green because... Why not? It's the opposite of red. <laughs> and then I'll make them red. The Afghan Emir has been assassinated. Oh, wah. <laughs> I know it's it not like sucks. they don't have like a thousand of those. Uh, hmm. The Middle East, full of emirs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that made me laugh too much than it should have. Stop laughing, or I'll punch you in the face. I did. Um... Tonight, you will die, Solus. That's nice. I'm already dead on the inside. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I wonder... I think you should invade Russia. Why? Just cause. Oh, I wouldn't want to do that. Then they may, like... I don't know, demand Alaska back or something. <laughs> Alaska, uh, at that time, what did it have going for it? Like, nothing. They didn't and then even... And gold. And oil. They didn't even have that yet before then. And then the Russians afterwards were like, Fuck! What's with all the radicalism? Theology? Really? Alright. You got radical theologians in the Aleutian Islands? Well, and democracy supporters too. Population yeah. support, 63%. What's, uh... Well, if we're going to be honest here, America's full of Democrats and theologians. Touche. GG, I guess. Well, I mean, come on. It's true, but, I mean... It's not PC to say it, I guess. Yeah... But since when do I care but, about PC? But is I mean, it other than computer? But is it Mac to say it? 
<laughs> I have a better idea. Invade Mongolia. Uh. And then invite Roman Sternberg to become emperor. Because reasons. First, I'd have to have, uh... Would China give me, uh... Request military access treaty. Nope. I'd have to climb over <laughs> China to get to Mongolia. Then do it. They only have, like, a little less than a billion population then. Like, that'd be <coughs> fine, right? Just nuke them. Oh, wait. Just, uh... The trench broom, shotgun, that should work. Well, you know what's really fun to do, Nick, in Darkest Hour? Yeah? Is play World War One, and then if you have the cheat mod, and you can cheese the shit out of your research, get nukes all the way back in 1915. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds amazing. Fucking drop nukes on, like, France's Germany. What is that? <laughs> what did you do? Like, we don't even have planes yet. Well, you have to cheese the strategic bomber, I guess, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know you had to do that, but, like, they'd look up in the sky and see this flying machine that was, like, way bigger than anything that they had at the time. It's just My like... My God, they have dragons. Or, or seeing missiles flying through the sky, it's like, whoa, okay, I know I'm an alcoholic, but I know I'm not that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in France, meh, must be a Tuesday. I, I one time cheesed the hell out of America because I just wanted to have fun one time. And I used a cheat mod, and I don't know if you ever used a cheat mod, but that shit gives you just way overpowered abilities. Mm -hmm. um, and so basically I made America fully authoritarian. And I started taking over just fucking random parts of the world to make this wonky American empire. It was great. Wonky American empire as opposed to a not-so-wonky American empire. Well, for instance, I decided I wanted Egypt as a colony. Because reasons. Sounds <laughs> that's, my, that's my point. I decided, you know, America wants to culturally have the pyramids, so I'm going to make Egypt a colony. Well, I mean, I'd take the Suez Canal. Well, I had that too, so. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. I also took over Israel and made it like a weird religious colony for America in my weird fucked up role-playing mind. Mm-hmm. This is where the Jews and the Colts go. Whoa! Whoa, Nelly! Teddy! Teddy, shut up! Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spread this new thing called socialism. Whatever it is. Don't what sound else? too right. What else did I take over in that game? I can't even remember. I think I took over Cuba because that's like the most obvious place to take over. Yep. Hi, Cuba. I was just talking about you. What is Cuba doing that took so long to do? That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> Deciding what the fuck it was doing. Apparently the game decided to... The game apparently decides to process random countries faster than the others. So... Oh, yeah, I also took over Mexico. That was what I did. Yep. Well, yeah, that's the most obvious thing to do whenever you're a uh, total dictator... Uh, dater, uh, words... <laughs> Six, six, <laughs> Whenever you're Jesus America, that's America. the most. <laughs> it was the, yeah, I'm I gonna know. stop it's now. Obvious. It's the most obvious thing to get. I get you. Yeah. And then I think I also invaded India because I just wanted India. Who wants India? How do even the Indians want India? Well, you know, India has a lot of land, and if you commit a lot of purges, you know. Thin out the population and slave them. I, I mean, uh. I'm, Unpaid I'm public labor. I'm joking, internet. Jesus. No, there are no jokes on the internet. Don't you know rule one? No jokes. I only know rule 34. Mm. 
And then I probably took over the Dominican Republic, too. Yep. And Jamaica. I think I took over the entire Caribbean area. Because why not? Because America, you son of a bitch. Because we need those vacation spots. No! It happened! They said it was unsinkable! Fuck you, Roy! <laughs> well, time to build 20 more. Yep. Well, at least the Britannic didn't sink. Uh -oh. Hopefully that won't happen again. Or the Olympic. Uh oh. Or the... Ah, uh, never mind. It was, the, it was the Olympic and the Britannic who were sisters, right? Yeah, I think so, maybe. I know for a fact the Britannic went down. I think the Olympic actually, like, almost went down but was saved at the last minute. Ottoman Empire annexed Albania. Their little insurgency was crushed rather quickly. Look at the Ottoman Empire. And then it'll all still... fall apart very, very quickly. Say what? Oh, the Ottoman Empire. It'll just fall apart. No, what just... Carl said. I said, oh. look, they think they're still people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like... <clears throat> I like Kaiserreich when the Ottoman Empire somehow survived. I finally decided to play it. By the way, the Ottoman Empire is one of the most fucking boring countries playing that mod. I came to realize. Um, yep. I like how it's like, the Ottoman Empire stopped being the sick man of Europe. It is now the terminally ill man of Europe. That's why that fucking empire... Needed to die. You know what I don't understand? This kind of... There ways to modernize. That's obvious. But what I don't understand, and I don't know if you guys have, like, noticed this, but I've noticed that, like, when you find videos or just, like, random stuff on the internet talking about empires, and people always have their perceptions of what empire was the greatest because whatever reasons, mm -hmm. people, when they talk about the Ottoman Empire, honestly have like a fetish for the fucking empire it's like the thing was not the biggest it was not the greatest and yet the people who like that empire are like oh man it was the greatest it was amazing it had what a few good trade routes and that's about it better than sex wow well, they also took out the Byzantine <laughs> empire after the fourth crusades kind of sacked it for them yeah it's because the not... fourth crusaders were all fucking die yep yeah yeah, they took all the wealth out of the Byzantine Empire. Oh, I'm and sorry, they were completely broken, defenseless. And then the Ottomans came in and said, "Hey guys, take a look at this. This is really we're going to get a lot of reputation from this now." No, no, no. You're forgetting the key and pivotal thing. They set up the Latin Empire first. Yeah, because renaming the Greek Byzantine Empire into the Latin Empire just fixes everything. Hmm. 